also is the Pillager 3 class frigate by Omega 117A. So here we are at the lineup review once more, checking out this new ship brought in for review. And as you can see, it's pretty cool. He's got all his pentas and tetras in. Really different shape, and I think this is a uh, kind of om almost like the grill on that ship with the claw we saw back in the day. Uh, salvager, even. Right. It is a really nice example. Definitely different external, uh, we have external gun ports as well. It's not often you see the actual tip of the AMC anymore, so to speak. Indeed. Got some detailed turrets. I, I will warn you, the hangar is a bit blinding. Yeah, it's it's quite white in there. Very white. I'm sure we'll be fine. <laughs> er, brakes, er, yes. Oh boy. Blinded by the light. Yeah. I can't even see Yelby. <laughs> it's Stealth Yelby. No, stealth Yelby. Like he's not here. <laughs> oh wow! That that corridor, so sci-fi. Oh wow! I'm gonna give it a walk. It does. The design is outstanding. But so bright. It's probably because he's got different uh, settings or different texture pack. So I'm sure Ooh. it's not intended to be this bright. Are way. you using Pixel? I am. It's the same in old style. Oh really? Uh, yeah, it is blinding. <laughs> So, I guess if we had one criticism, um, less white, which is not something you will often hear me say. I still <laughs> love the ship, though. The design is... Oh, top, yeah, and the interior class. is the interior is top-notch. Look at this uh, overlook right here. The design... Wait, hang on. I'm just going up and down. I'm at the front section in Bilbo. I'm just... So there's a gravity... Oh, wow. Oh, wow, okay. There's, like, there's levels and levels and levels. Yeah, I really like this interior. I wish it weren't so white, but I like it. I feel like um, I feel like this is a NASA ship. Like yeah, they just tend to use obscene amounts of white. Yeah, exactly. It's just that's why it's so white. It looks very clean. I like this. Oh, and all these here. windows. Yeah, the little rooms at the side that are all painted and tetrad up. You'd think there wouldn't be enough room in here for this, but he's made it work. And look at that oh, from I the side. think I've found an airlock. Oh, really? Mind the gap. <laughs> I've got to mind the gap. Oh, really? It's a bit of a. Oh. So I want to find my way to the core. Really, we're, really, not where this so thing shines is the interior. No, it's not. <laughs> oh, oh, the bridge. Mind. Look at this. Ah, you found it. You know, I, my only advice to uh, to Omega here is definitely uh, add a couple more colors, and I think that would really take this to the next level. It's outstanding. Oop, we're moving. Or I'm moving. Or we're all just moving. There's nothing causing any problems. Right, well, okay, so basically that would be a Mega 117A's ship. It's a beautiful ship. Let's see what the name of that ship was again. It was the Pillager 3 class frigate. A really classic sci fi style design. Loving it. Nice color scheme on the outside. The, the lighting is perfect outside. Did experience a bit of whiteout, but you know, client settings, it could just be that he's playing with some other settings. Yep. It might be that this is actually configured yeah, for shadows. Yeah, if you saw, he's, uh, it looks so much brighter on the stream than in my game, is yeah. uh, what he said. It's probably he's using realistic and shadows, he which would make a lot of sense. shadows, and then he has to overpower the brightness in there. So, yeah, yeah. He's using ultra shadows, realistic Yeah, pack. exactly. So there you go. That's the reason. We might have to I would do another video. Tell him we want to do another video on this, but with those settings. 
He's uh, is watching the stream still. So. Good, okay, so now you know. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll hook up with you soon. Yeah, definitely excited to see that. I love all those details inside. So then, uh, moving on to the next ship in the review now. 